Hey everybody, I'm on the radio tour and I'm at WJBZ in Knoxville, Tennessee with my friend Dan Bell and he just put me on the air for a minute and he's playing I Sang Myself Happy. Here's Dan. Hello, Brother Dan. And I'm not going to sing myself happy either. No, you're just going to play ourselves happy. Okay, yeah. Say, so when I worked for Dolly, Dolly Parton, we made a deal. She doesn't play any records and I don't sing. Okay. So, everybody wins on that. Yeah, exactly. So do you, uh, do you know Dolly? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I love sharing the picture of opening day at Dolly with me sitting beside her in her little apartment upstairs. Yeah, yeah. 45 years ago now. Oh, wow, okay. I kid her that, see, I worked at her for 10 years, and uh, I used to kid her she's six months older than I am. Okay. She says, yeah, but you look a lot older. <laughs> well, I, I must admit, I agree with her. <laughs> So how long have you been here at WJBZ? This is a, your second stint here, isn't it? Yeah, I worked here for a while back in early 2000, 2001. Yeah. And then it got a chance to come back full time in 2016. Yeah. And since then, can't think of a better place to be. Well, boy, just about since then, you all have been the Southern Gospel Station of the Year in the Singing News Fan Awards the last, what, two or three years? Four? Four? Yeah, that's what I say. So 16, so that'd be... Yeah, Again. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. So if you want to go to Singing News and vote, you know. Like, there you go. Okay, and we want to talk about that you and I both are nominated for that Diamond Award for broadcast. Yes, sir. So if you can't vote for that, you can vote for me. There you go. I say vote for you anyway. It's all good there. I have won it before. I've been blessed. You deserve it. You get it. I'm honored. I, first time I ever nominated for that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for playing the Old Time Preachers Quartet there. The words are like tombstones. At one point, you won't care if you play them. <laughs> it's true. Frank <laughs> 96.3, that is from the Old Time Preachers Quartet. We've got the Old Time Preacher himself. Let's probably hear. And uh, uh oh, we better go look about traffic and weather together on Freddy's 96.3. And the interstate except. Yeah, the okay. Bridge, oh, yeah. What about that? Technology today. We both started in radio when it was rip and read. <laughs> exactly. When I first started, it was either on record or on real to real tape. Yes, sir. Me too. We had cart machines for the commercials. You see, we still have a couple turntables here. God bless you. We had one girl working here. We had to show her how to work once. She never worked. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. I do my Facebook Live with Les and, and most every evening, and I always play a lot of vinyl on, uh, on my Facebook show. Why is that? You, sir, are spot on with that. No argument. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I do, too. I've got... For those who don't know, this was a station started by J. Basil Miller. Yeah. Look him up on Wikipedia. Yes, sir. And I had the pleasure of working with him. He was the blind preacher that always wanted his own station and promoted gospel music. Yes, sir. Big promoter of concerts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Used to sell baby chicks on the air. I love that. The most Sunday tradition. I love it. Yeah. And a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> he, you know, he, yeah. he was blind, yes, sir. He learned the Bible. Yeah. 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 And he'd ask Miss Mull to read a scripture. Lady Mull. Yeah. Lady, Lady Mull, that's right. Yeah. Of course, I love to tell the story. She would sit beside him in the little studio up there yeah. behind you. And she would pinch him on the knee when it was time for him to <laughs> I'm going to turn around and let him see where they were. So this is where, right there. Right there, where Jay Basil and Lady Mall would do the radio shows here in Knoxville. And they did them for like, what, like 50 years or something like that, right? Wow. Yeah. Bill Gaither will tell you, he grew up listening to Preacher Mall on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He promoted, of course, he was on WLAC Yes, sir. Yeah. But he always dreamed of his own station. This was, this was it. 
and still, let's see, it was owned by the family, but they sold it a few years ago, right? Yeah, in 2016. 2016, yeah. Okay. Well, I sure do appreciate the owners keeping this signal, Southern Gospel. Yeah, it, it could be about anything. It's a good, strong signal. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate they, them. They believe in the tradition, of course. And yeah. Spread the word of Jesus. Too. Yeah. We appreciate that. So, owners, thank you. And Dan needs a raise, too. Oh, yes, we forgot about that. And he needs his own Wikipedia page. Y'all start working on that. <laughs> my, a, a young man that goes to my church, he's been schooled in the things of Southern Gospel. He's, a, he's an old spirit. And he typed here on my Facebook, Ain't that right, Miss Maul? <laughs> Yeah. I recognize your voice. Yeah, yeah. I said, I recognize your voice, too. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. As, for as long as I can remember, any time I get even somewhat close to Knoxville, I go right to this dial position. I've I've been a listener for decades. Well, we're lucky because of where we are and who we are. And we get a lot of people that way. And now with the streaming available, yeah. we get more and more people listening. That costs us money. Yeah, yeah. Where do they go if they're not in the area on the stream? Where can they go get it? Praise963.com. Okay. And, uh, matter of fact, at one point, people were having to pay $5 a month to listen, but we said, no, we, we don't want to do that. You know, we want people to do that. And especially where you have folks say they come to Dollywood and they see us, talk to us. And yeah, yeah. We don't have gospel where we live. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. If you're going to Praise963.com. Yeah. Praise 96 has their own stage there at Dollywood, and uh, Dan is one of the hosts of that stage. You enjoy doing that? That is fun. Uh, again, I worked at Dollywood for 10 years when Dolly owned the radio station with WDLY. Mm -hmm. And so we would broadcast them. You have a lot more respect for animals in a zoo when you sit in a little group in Dollywood all day. Yes. When, the, when, when they ceased that particular signal, I was working for the Solid Gospel Radio Network at that time. Matter of fact, I was, I was running it then. And um, we struck a deal with, Do with Dollywood, and we actually did uh, John Campbell. We, we did Afternoon Drive on our network from that hut for, uh, for one or two seasons. And then, uh, then they got rid of the hut completely and so forth. But uh, we got to do work there for a year or two, and I'd go there some, and, and it was just wonderful. And Dollywood's just been wonderful for Southern gospel music. Not only the, you know, the Kingdom Airs have been there, what, 30 years or something like that. But this October festival that they've done now for years is just such a great boost for Southern gospel music. And uh, it brings the gospel to people, even if they don't go there for the shows, they soak it up just because they're around hearing it, just walking through the thing. Or in Harris was talking about the other day, but them being out of the valley theater now. Yeah. He said they were, he noticed a Muslim family sitting there eating. Yeah. He said, maybe we got the message to it. Yeah. And that's great, man. I'm telling you, God uh, God can use who, who he wants, where he wants, when he wants, how he wants it. And it's a great evangelistic tool being out there. Oh, we've been uh, a couple years ago at the, you know, I hosted the, the bluegrass stage for for years and uh, Heaven's Mountain Band was there for a couple of shows and man God just showed up and we had church in that place I mean it was evident that there that the Lord was moving and working and uh, we got to lead uh, a young man to Christ there he came to us we didn't go to him I mean it was Dollywood is is a blessing and we appreciate the ownership of Dollywood the Hershen brothers and and uh, the management for letting that happen. Only Dolly could pull it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Dan, I'll let you get back to work, brother. I'm going to sign off on my Facebook Live. Tell everybody goodbye. Bye. Work on a Wikipedia page for less money. <laughs> All right, I'm turning around. He wants you to work on a Wikipedia page for me. And I'm telling you to work on a Wikipedia page for Dan. Signing off for now.
we'll uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit later on in the tour. I hope you enjoyed our time with Dan Bell here at WJBZ.